that every day will always bring me something new Hi, this is the lift where we are staying and I'm going down to show you the place what location are we staying in Vienna It's the most epic place ever And for those who don't know, Vienna is the capital of Austria which is a country and Austria is in Europe which is a continent Okay, good light <laughs> Always helps filmmakers You know, I never thought that I would come to Vienna This place was never on my list of places to visit and I never even imagined that I would come to a country Austria <laughs> it's amazing and I also heard that this is one of the most artistic places in Europe and Europe itself being an art center of the world I'm really looking forward to seeing some exciting stuff interesting things here in Vienna. Let's do it <laughs> Hi, what's up? This is the place where we are living at Vienna. It's right in the middle of the most busiest street The place is just so grand you know, this is, I feel, the most happening street where all the buildings seem like castles, seem like palaces, you know. <laughs> Let me just show you around. Whoa, whoa, check out this bunny rabbit. I don't know what's the significance of this. It looks cool. And up until now, I think we've taken all of the train, the tram, the buses, all of public transport we've used. But there is something so interesting that I just got to know about Vienna, about the public transport in Vienna, which I'm going to tell you about. I think that's going to be the main point that I want to share about Vienna with all of you guys. You know, this place seems to be like the Connaught place of Delhi or the Bandra of Mumbai. Vienna is specially known for its opera. In fact, if I'm not wrong, this is where it all started. And even Beethoven, he created all his symphonies uh, in Vienna. This, this place is just loaded with history. Check out these pigeons. Meet these pigeons from Vienna. <laughs> okay, time to move forward. No problem. If the police is coming, I will oh, say it's tourist and he will go away. Oh, is it? Yeah. He's saying no problem for the seat belt. If police catches, he will say it's tourist and he'll let us go. <laughs> when you say you are tourist, you can go. Uh, meeting you today. What Thank was your you. name? Ahmed. 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 In Arabic, Ahmed. English, Ahmed. 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 <laughs> this place behind me is the most interesting place. I'm sure many of you will love it. Check this out. It's Beethoven's museum.
Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, that's a Lexus. And that's the cab here. <laughs> First of all, one thing I've realized here is that uh, unlike in India, in Dubai, say abroad people are just very accommodating. And I think we are okay with talking. Cameras themselves are just talking. <laughs> See that? What is that? Man, this entire place is a castle. <laughs> okay, good spot. Can you see me? I hope there's less of audio disturbance here because I don't have a wind filter. That's why all the sound is like <laughs> and Also, it's too harsh, right? The sun is still very harsh. It's a uh, night. No, this is India time. Not 9 p.m. I think this is it's 5 20 p.m here in Vienna. Today is the only day we are here. We were supposed to be here for two days, but our flight got delayed on the first day. That's why we are leaving tomorrow early morning. We had to squeeze in all the places we had to visit within these 24 hours. That's why it's just loaded with stuff. One important thing I wanted to share, one sec. Before that, let me just check the exposure. Okay, light is fine. Everything good. So I wanted to tell you about uh, the public transport, some very interesting thing that I learned today about Vienna. You know, first time we reached the station, we couldn't find a ticketing counter. So we reached the platform. Again, there were no police. There was no, no one just to ask anything. I think there were a few machines, right? But because our train came, so we thought maybe we have to buy the tickets inside the train. Some TT will come, <laughs> I thought. But when we got in the train, again, there was nothing. Till about later when we asked someone that where is the ticketing counter? He said that there is that machine, you have to buy a ticket from there. So first time I have to confess that we literally just got in the train without buying tickets. I mean, I am sorry, Vienna government or any person who is a Viennese, Viennese? I don't know, people who live in Vienna. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry we didn't buy the ticket first time. But next time we literally bought a pass. And that's when uh, we checked online, we read this article. It completely blew my mind. Let me read it out to you. This is from the official website of Vienna. It says how the system works. And the first line, you know what it says? It says, Vienna works on an honesty system. Are you serious? <laughs> it says there are no ticket barriers at stations and no formal ticket checks on trains, trams and buses. You can just hop on and off unchallenged. This doesn't mean public transport is free though. You need to buy a ticket. I mean, imagine that the government here literally trusts the people that they will buy tickets. I mean, I wonder how long will it take for such a system to come to India? Imagine, honesty system. Never heard it before. Okay, so that's about it from Vienna. Tomorrow early morning, we fly off to... I'll let you know. <laughs> Something new oh.